Hey everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to more Subnautica. In the last part, we went to the floating islands biome, and we got ourselves quite a few nice, awesome schematics, including the drill arm for the prawn suit. And, uh, like at the end of that video, we decided to head off towards a whole new biome, which I said at the very end of the video was like the blood kelp forest. And we took the Cyclops with us. Now, I'm not in the Cyclops. I'm not where I ended the video. But do not worry. It's fine. It's over there with the prawn suit. But I was having a really hard time locating this biome because we've never been there before. So what I wanted to do was actually come back and get the sea moth and take that. Because it's not, it's not the fault of anything really other than myself not really being able to navigate the cyclops to a whole new place like effectively so that's why i came back here and i, I thought the sea moth would just be easier to get to well get get around in to to find this new place so that's why i'm back here and all i'm gonna do is get the sea moth and then we're gonna drive to where i hope this biome is actually located can you can you get in? There you go. That probably should not have worked physic physics wise, but it did. Okay. So I believe that this biome is like to our southwest. And it's located just off of like a grassy plateau, which is like the red grass biome that we've been to. That was actually like one of the first biomes I went to that wasn't like a kelp forest or really specifically dedicated as a safe shallows area and it's pretty iconic like we'll be able to know when we're there no problem because we found like quite a few good wreckages there earlier on in the game so yeah we're going back there because the place should be right off of it and there are kelp forests around there too. So it's kind of, the, these biomes, most of them are not like very clear cut. So, okay, here's the grassy plateau. Yes. Now, the kelp forest should be pretty easy to spot. And I say should. Very lightly, okay. There's some noises going around. But yeah, because it should have a specific plant that I know we've seen before. and I But I, I didn't really comment on it because it didn't seem like too crazy at the time. But yeah. So I'm hoping we'll spot that and then we'll know we're there. And it's just, it's way too hard to get the Cyclops. And see, I was even going like the wrong direction, I think. But it's just hard to get that thing around. So my plan is to find this biome. Okay, just got to make sure it's those. Get the biome, get to the biome with the sea moth. And then I could bring the cyclops and everything over here once I've identified this as the biome. Um, oh, that's a really weird plant. Oh, gosh. Okay, don't destroy the sea moth before I even get to this place. Uh, I mean, preferably we won't do that at all, but I at least want to get to this biome before anything crazy happens. Um, so yeah, this is actually like the same day that I recorded that last video. I, di I didn't really feel happy with the amount of content I covered in that video. Like, I played for about an hour and 20 minutes but there was a lot of stuff that was being cut out just because it was like a transition-y kind of thing uh i gotta be careful of where i go because i could end up somewhere i do not want to be and this actually looks like somewhere i don't want to be yeah But I guess if we see that really specific plant... Ugh, okay, hold on. Let's go back up for a second. Uh, 
Well, I do know that the biome we're looking for is like a trench. Okay, this... This is familiar. We've definitely been here. And if I remember correctly, there were Reaper Leviathans around. Uh, okay, I actually don't think this is it. Yeah, uh, there's like a wreckage down there, but... Uh, hmm. I guess I got to keep searching. That might be it, but I don't really think it is. All right, hold on. Let me check. Oh, that was terrifying, but it was just a stalker. Like the least worrisome enemy for me. <laughs> uh, but it was just heading right towards my my thing. All right, hold on. Okay, so I've just been like researching things trying to figure out if i'm in the right area and i i am but like not where i want to be specifically oh excuse me i just burped i think we need to go a little bit northwest but this i think is what's referred to as the sparse reef which, again, at least from what I've seen, like, not a very dangerous area, because there's just not a lot here. It's it's referred to this as the sparse reef, because there's just sparsely anything here. Um, and we should, from here, be able to spot the reef that this is in. That the... Or the, the trench, rather, that the blood kelp is in. But it's still hard to tell. Uh, oh, gosh. By the way, it's like storming right now. Which, okay, hold on. Let's, let's be careful here. Oh, this is it. This is it, actually. Okay. Oh, my God. That fucking... Oh, I don't know if my... <laughs> my microphone picked up that thunder. But there was like thunder right as that damn cr like shark came over here and it fucking terrified me oh i've got chills holy shit okay so here's what i'm gonna do how far out are those okay this is gonna seem a little crazy but since we know where we're at and there's like big supply things here i'm gonna go get our cyclops <laughs> uh i know it's kind of a dumb thing oh you know what all right this will be a lot safer and a lot smarter and a lot quicker if I just put down a beacon. That's why I've got beacons for. All right. So we'll say blood kelp trench near because this isn't exactly it, but it's very close to it. Okay. Oh, but yeah, as I was saying, it's very stormy here right now. And I think we still... Let me check the time. Oh, well, we were under, like, a severe thunderstorm warning, but that passed. But, yeah, it's... Uh, and it's, like, still kind of dark out. It's like, if you're going to play a scary game... And I know that this game isn't, like, specifically horror-based or anything, but this is the kind of, like, environment to play it in, I guess, like, you know, so, uh, yeah, I just, I, like I was saying earlier too, like I was unhappy with the amount of progress I made in that last video. So I'm like, I need to record again and who knows, maybe I'll just put out two videos on one day. Like, uh, let's see, I think this was going to be for two. The last video is going to be for two Mondays from now. Well, it's, it's currently Saturday when I'm recording this, but I'm still doing the just two videos a week thing. So, yes, I think that's correct, the math I'm doing in my head. But, yeah. 
So yeah, maybe maybe I will just do two videos on that day just to be like, you know, generous with the amount of content I'm putting out. I I I was very willy-nilly there with crashing into things. That was not very good. All right. Let's grab some water and stuff before we go out. And uh, that's still processing some of these that thing is. And yep, got some good water and salt action. Okay. And I'm going to drop off the salt too because we don't need that. Th that water thing is like super effective though. Like I've gotten so many big waters from that. Like it's unnecessary how much I have to be honest, but it's still good. Can never go wrong with having too much water. All right. So let's head to our Cyclops and then we'll get over there. Uh, now, I'm not too concerned about what I'm going to find in this uh, kelp trench because I don't think there's like, oh gosh, there was lightning right outside my window. Lort. But yeah, I'm not really concerned with what I'm going to find because there's not from what I've seen, what I've read, there's not any very aggressive fauna there. So we shouldn't run into like problems with the Levi Leviathans. But I know that that kelp forest connects to some other biomes. And those are a little less forgiving. So that's where we might run into problems. Like if we just get too out of range and then we're stuck with like it, we, we just get into a biome with like a really crazy leviathan or something which i don't know if that'll happen i hope it doesn't happen but we'll see all right so got our engines on okay and i did figure out the camera thing which was what i was trying to figure out at the end of the end of the last video okay wait hold on let me get us oriented here correctly yeah that's where we want to go to oh crap i'm crashing this is not good okay yes i know eh. Eh. what a great start okay wow this is good 10 out of 10 navigation. <laughs> uh, I know the problem is just that I'm too close to things. It's fine. Everything's fine. Um, but yeah, so we can use the cameras by clicking on that. Which is, you know, what I was trying to figure out at the end of that video. But that's really helpful because, like, that's... These cameras are like your your sight because you can only see so much just from the thing. Okay, I don't know what all that noise is. It does kind of make me uncomfortable. All right, let's just go back to this view for now. Oh, uh, we got a floater on our thing, which is fine, you know. It's just hanging out. Okay. Now, I need to be careful, too, about honking the damn horn like that's a surefire way to get like a leviathan to your location i'm sure it's really stupid to to just do that all right now we can start our descent okay yeah we've got like these things here okay all right so we could just park ourselves down here. Oh. Gotta be careful not to crash. Okay. So I'm just going to park myself right here. And then we'll deploy our prawn suit. Okay. Damn it. You stupid son of a bitch. Okay. <sighs> That's really dumb of me. Uh gosh 
Are things shaking or is that just me? Gosh. Why are we ascending? Gosh, I can't see a damn thing. Okay. Okay. We're still... Is it because we have, like, the floater on us? Ugh, I don't like it. Alright, well, let's get out of here real quick. Oh, it's so dark. Okay. Alright, maybe we need to pick that floater off of us. I think it's causing us some problems. Yeah, we got a bunch of those on us. Oh, you little goofs. Alright. I didn't know that was going to be an issue, but I guess it makes sense. Hmm. I don't even know really how we pick those up. Alright, well, let's just drop those there. Let them do whatever they're doing. Just hopefully not attaching to my ship. Alright. I want to see if I can bring this thing closer to the ground. Alright. Okay. Everything's fine. So good so far. Alright. I just need to lower myself. Alright. Maybe I should keep the cameras on. No, I want the keel. There we go. Okay. There we go. There, that's like perfect. Maybe a little too high. All right. Okay. Keep the engines off. All right. <laughs> I know this is so... Uh, we haven't even really done anything. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's head out with the prawn. Hello? Okay. Deploy us. Ugh. Kind of scary. But I do trust the prawn. So, now, let's see how this... Oh, gosh. It's so violent. Alright. This is the first time we've used this drill arm. I think this is going to be good. Oh, still drilling down. Okay. I, this should just automatically add to like our like our inventory. Yeah, there we go. Get a good amount of lead. I don't actually know how much we have back at base, but I won't complain. And this this is going to be really good for when I go off and get resources off screen like We'll get things so much more effectively. And eventually I want to get a storage upgrade for this thing too. Alright. Um, I don't suppose I can check my prawn storage. Let's see. Uh, mostly with lead. Um, well, perhaps I should go back and empty this real quick. But hopefully without... Dropping into a trench. Open up. Let me in. Hello? Oh gosh, go. You can do it. Okay. Alright. Now. Huh. I mean, I can always put this into storage on the ship. Which I think is actually a good idea. All right, let me just drop this lead off and then we'll actually go into the, this blood kelp trench. I promise I'm not like purposefully putting things off. I'm just, I'm anxious. I'm anxious and excited all at the same time. And I hope that the, like the, this area isn't too deep. I don't think it will be, but we'll just have to find out. Okay, here we go. Let us out. Boom. Now, let's see. 
if we can figure out where that trench exactly was. Um, it was pretty close to the beacon. Okay. And I can pick up things just in the, the prawn, which is good. All right. Ooh, there's like a quartz cluster. But I don't think I really need quartz at the moment. We have plenty back at the base. Um, I don't think that was the trench. Or maybe it was. Um, crap. That, that's actually really, really, really deep. Like, much deeper than I was anticipating. So, maybe it's not really such a good idea to take this down there. Uh, um, you know what? I'm going to say screw it. I'll just take it nice and slow. Oh, gosh. Okay. Here we go. Make this a nice, slow, gentle descent. Okay. We're on to some totally new stuff. Um, let me actually see. Gabe's feathers. I don't know what that is, but it sounds cool as fuck. Okay. But I'm not really looking to, like start a garden or anything. I'm here to do some stuff. Okay. Oh, you know what? Let me actually... Okay. You're good. Oh, that's a uranite. Uranite? Can you pick that up? Okay, thank you. Got a ruby there, too. Oh, I'm slipping. It's so gentle, too. It's like, get it. Uh, all right. Once we get that grappling hook, like... Okay, we're going to be able to do some stuff. All right, let's try to get over to this side. Okay. Boom. Now, this... Blood oil. Yes. That's actually what we need. Um, oh my god. It's so large. That's what we need to make benzene. And then that just, I think, has opened up so many different things for us. Um, how much do I need for just like one benzene? Uh, looks like I need three. Holy shit. And that's just for one. All right. Well, that's why we got the prawn storage. Okay. Got a couple more here. Uh, you know, I, I guess. Okay, hold on. We'll take these. We'll put that one in there. Okay. Good. Good. I'm glad. I'm really glad. I wonder what those things are. You know what? Maybe I should look that up just for fun's sake. Hold on. Let's get in our prawn for relative safety. Let's see. What did that say? Preconditions for stimulating human terror. Terror in humans. Okay. Nine preconditions. Wow. It's like already in my Google search history. I love it. All right. So here's what they are. Oh, and this is on the Subnautica subreddit. Let's see. Dem illumination. Yes. Three primary colors. The one can be any light color. The, the other any dark color. The third must be some specific shade of red. Usually blood red. Good. Disembodied slash vague sounds. Organic shapes. Unexpected tactile sensation. Monsters. Phobia. Triggers. Disorientation. Wow. I think that's pretty much on the mark. Which is 
terrifying. Oh, okay, hold on. Let's get it back over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this blood oil back to the, the Cyclops. Because first off, before we get too deep, we need to make sure we can actually get out of here. Um, because I'm sure I can get the, the Cyclops down to this point if I need to. But we should be doubly sure. Okay, hold on. Just gonna be a little treacherous. It's fine. Here, actually get over here. Is that just a uranite thing? Oh, it's gold. Okay. All right. We'll get like pretty much all of the blood oil that we need from here. So. I should move the Cyclops closer to this particular thing, but that's fine. <laughs> I'm going to fight the, the shark. All right. I'm going to take this blood oil up here, drop it off, and then we'll head back in. All right, so I've dropped off all of that blood kelp, and I think we're good to go back in. I think we can go pretty much as deep as we need to. I think we'll be just fine getting back out. Like, this thing seems to be pretty good, and I know ooh, eventually we'll get that jetpack upgrade. Let me actually see what we need for that, like if I can check that. Oh, we need to find crystalline sulfur. Okay, so that can be our mission here. We need to find crystalline sulfur, which I'm pretty sure we can get here. All right, slow that descent. I think we'll be good on blood oil for the time being. I know we'll likely have to come back here, but yeah. We're also looking for something called deep shrooms, which we need to make that polyethylene whatever. So we need to find that while we're here. If we do that, we'll be in pretty good shape. Okay, yeah, see, this is it. These are the mushrooms. All right, now, we try to pick these up. Um, oh, I thought we got hurt by those, but I guess not. Okay. So, yeah, if we check this, that upgrade, that unlocked some things. Yeah, hydrochloric acid, and then that's what we need to make the polyethylene. We need a ton of those, too. Oh, my goodness. Okay, things are getting real with the resource collection. Okay, I'm going to store these in the prawn. Oh, we got quite a bit there, so that's something. Put those in there, too. Um... Food, I fear, may be a little scarce. I don't know what that is, but looks tasty to me. Spade fish. Okay. Nom, nom, nom. All right. It's good enough for the time being. All right. Onward we go. Yeah, this place is going to get hella deep. We have to be mindful of the, like, the energy, too. Because that could get pretty dark pretty fast, pretty bleak. I do have one power cell, but I don't know how that'll, like, carry us. But you know what? If I just got shrooms on this trip, like, I think it would be fine. But I would love to get the other stuff I was talking about, the sulfuric acid okay but damn that's a lot of mushrooms that might be more than what we need okay it's like starting to get deep here pretty dark too all right what do we got there i saw something here on this cliff side Oop. is it just uranite okay doesn't really do anything for me. Uh, the light on this thing is admittedly pretty 
whatever. All right, now I'm starting to feel a little uncomfortable. So we're starting to get a really deep. There's like no music here, no sound. All right, let me just get over here. Okay. Like I said, we'll just take this nice and slow. Not fall into deep trenches that we can't even see into. Gosh. I think the hardest part... Ooh. That doesn't sound very good. Gosh. Okay. We'll go just a little bit deeper here. And I use a little bit very, very lightly. Okay. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to punk out. Um, I'm glad that we brought this thing here, but I'm a little nervous about getting out, honestly. And, oh gosh, hold on. What? Oh, I can get onto that thing over there. I think I would like just prefer to have the maneuverability of the sea moth. I know it can't take as much damage and stuff, but I trust that way more than I trust this thing. <sighs> okay, you're making excuses, Kyle. Just just go with it. You're fine. Everything's fine. That's me trying not to make it sound like I'm lying to myself. We need that polyethylene or sulfuric, whatever. We need that. We're going to have to get it eventually. Oh, there's so many deep shrooms, though. Holy shoot. Okay. Let's see. All right. Let's very gently just come down here. Uh, okay. All right. So, okay, we got rubies galore, but no sulfuric acid or hydro sulfuric, whatever it's called. I don't know. Okay. Now, I don't like the look of that area, so let's let's stay in the general direction of home. Okay. I think the grappling thing would be really good here. Okay. All right, well, there goes my excuse to stay over there. Okay. Well, we can only go down to 900 here. Do we need the sulfuric stuff to build that upgrade? Because if we do, then I know we're supposed to get it before 900 meters. Um, crap, where is, where is it? Aha. No, we just need kyanite. Which maybe we'll get that. We'll, we'll get kyanite first. That's what we'll, we'll worry about here first. Okay. Ooh, this is getting more fast than I thought. Okay. The way out is the way to home. We need to go towards home. If we head that way, we know we're in the right spot. Okay. Is that still just urinite? Okay. All right. This is really... I, I say this about like all these really deep areas, but this is beautiful. It's scary, but beautiful. Okay. Ew, 
that's an odd structure. All right. Let me just come over this way real quick. Oh, okay, there's a zappy guy. There's a dangerous piece of fauna. They don't want to disturb them. So, oop. I don't know why I jumped like that. Okay. Let's see. Hello, friend. I know I'm in your territory, but all right, fine. That's just a good excuse to go deeper. Okay. Well, oh, I really need a storage upgrade for this thing. I should have brought one. Okay. Ew, long crab. Hello. Why don't you just stay right over there? Okay. I'm just gonna navigate around all of these things. Okay. Ugh, I do feel kind of bad for like not having a lot of storage because there's gonna be stuff down here I could really use, but I'm not gonna be able to get it all. They make a really terrifying noise. Okay, my game is lagging. I don't know why, but it is. All right. Okay. Oh, uh, well, this is a cave entrance. That could lead somewhere interesting, but it could also lead me into a cave that I get lost in. Ew, that thing looks like toes. Gross. East, east, gross. All right. This is by far the deepest I've gone. Okay, yeah. I don't trust myself going down there because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get back out. Okay. So that's where... Gosh. The screen keeps freezing when I do stuff. And then it like... Puts me back somewhere like a second later. That's a really good way to, for me to fall... Into a pit that I didn't mean to fall into. Okay. So. Here's what I'm going to do. Because I'm going to be smart about this. We're going to come back here and we're going to go deep. But... I need to get those upgrades that I can get. So like, because we unlocked the the blood oil and like the polyethylene stuff. That stuff I can like, really, like, I can get upgrades with those things. So, we're going to go back home and we're going to get those upgrades that we can get. And then we'll come back here. So... This exploration is not done, and I'm not calling it off because I'm low-key having a panic attack every time I'm, like, every second I'm down here. But, yeah, I, I just legit need those upgrades to make this the most valuable exploration possible. So, now it's just the fun of getting out of here, which... I don't exactly know 100% how this is going to go, but we're going to make it, perhaps, maybe. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll meet you guys back once I'm out of here, however long that takes. Okay, so I made it back just fine, and I'm going to go ahead and take us back home, and then we're going to go from there. So I don't, I, I'm really debating whether I want to bring the the Cyclops and the prawn suit back here. Like, I definitely want to go deeper 
in that particular area. But at the same time, like, I know if I bring the prawn suit, it's going to kind of hinder my movement through that area. And I know it's going to be very hard to navigate, like, that there. And then I know, like, with the Cyclops, just taking it over there is kind of a pain. But the big downside is, like, if I need more blood oil, I'm not really going to be able to get all of the, the stuff that I need, really. So, I don't know. I'm just going to think about it once I make these upgrades. But let's actually see... Oh, okay, I can't. If you're driving other things, you can, like, open your inventory while... Okay, here we go. Okay, this is fine, because we're just going home, and we know it's relatively safe. Although, honestly, if we're driving this big old thing, like, and it's making as much noise as a... Oh, okay, all right, hold on. We don't want to overheat the dang thing. But we're probably alerting things to where we're at. And it's like, oh gosh, come on. Let's see, where's home? Did I? No, home is right there. Okay. But yeah, it's like, what's stopping things from coming over to us? Like where we're at. I don't know. So maybe we'll take the Cyclops and the the Seamoth instead next time. I think that's more reasonable than taking the Prawn Suit. Because I don't know if we're going to go below 900 meters. And if we need to, that's fine. We'll just we'll deal with that then. But, okay. And I know the batteries on this thing are getting kind of low. So that's not necessarily that great we need to build the the charger but yeah we'll get to that later too okay so let's take all of these deep shrooms down and do what we can with those first because i know we can make like the hold on might as well actually get in there first but I know we can make, like, the hydro... Or, I, I fucking forget the name of the resource. Let's see. Yeah. We need we can make hydrochloric acid, but we need salt to do so. So that's what we can use all of our salt for. And no problems there. Okay. Boom. There's one, two, three, whoop, um, four, uh, five? Wow, I had a ton of mushrooms, damn, and there's still more like in the prawn suit, so we'll, <laughs> we'll have more than enough of those. All right, um, let's see. So we have five of those, as long as we have five gold. Oh, which we have plenty of gold. All right. So let's go ahead and get these. All right, and we need to eat too. We'll go pick some fruit and have ourselves a little vegetarian snack before we head back out. All right. So, let's see what we needed the polyethylene for. Polynylene. I don't know what polyethylene is, but it's probably something really terrible that I've just been talking about all willy-nilly. All right. So, we needed that for... Um, hmm. That's what we need benzene for. Okay. thermal reactor but we're not really going into many high like temperature areas 
Mm, we still haven't found nickel ore either. Aha! We need that for the defense thing. Alright. What do we need for a wiring kit? And I just have to hope that we have enough stuff for that. Silver ore. Um... Okay, I was going to say, I haven't really been collecting much silver, so... Alright. This wiring kit. Alright. Now let's go get that defense upgrade. I'm excited for that because I know that's going to help out tremendously. Especially, like, with my comfort being around leviathans, like... Let them come at me. We're going to shock them away. All right. But that does take up, like, the rest of our upgrade slots, which really sucks. Hmm. I guess that is kind of the sucky thing about the Seamoth. Like, if you want to have really good inventory with it, you have to sacrifice the sonar. You're not going to sac sacrifice the depth. But, like, defense. So, yeah, that's, like, such a small thing. But I guess if we take, like, the the whatever with us, it'll be fine. Take the Cyclops. Okay. Yum, yum, yum. We're good. And we'll go ahead and take one water, because I'm sure this thing down here has filled up oh, thank you and the salt will be good for more of those that polyethylene stuff all right now i don't know what else we're gonna need that for in particular um drop that salt here okay why is there a titanium in there Get back here, you rascal. All right. Now, as far as the other things that we can use that for, anything with the Cyclops? Uh, energy efficient module? I'm not really worried about power in the Seamoth because that thing is really good. Um... I don't know where you get gas pods from. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to make a thermal reactor for that. Cyclops upgrades. Okay. Yes. We need crystalline sulfur. We still don't have these things. The sonar would be really good for that. Okay. So it's actually all we need that for. Huh. Well, I'm going to put this stuff in here, because we don't need it for a while. And then... Yes. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and get ourselves that benzene, and then we can make it there, whatever the heck it's called. Alright, it is kind of annoying, like, how many inventory slots those take up. It's like, goodness gracious. Okay. So we get one blood oil, or or one benzene per three blood oil. Yeah, that kind of sucks. All right. I know this is going to be a shortcut, but I need to go back and get the rest of that. And then go from there. So give me a second as I go and get the rest of those. Okay. So I got ourselves the rest of the blood oil. And there was only three more. So we only have three benzene to work with. Oh, goodness. I mean, we can always bring back more next time we go out. But it's still kind of annoying. Um, okay, so I put the sea moth up there in the inside of Patricia. And we're going to get that. And then I put the, the prawn suit here in the base so that that's all good to go. So as far as what we're going to make with the benzene I, I'm, I'm no i'm mispronouncing that no it is benzene okay wow <laughs> um 
Honestly, I'm not entirely sure. I know we should probably do stuff for the prawn suit. Because I don't really think any of the structures we need benzene for. Mm. Let's see. But we need it. We need it for this. But we already have one of these energy efficient mo modules. So that's not really that useful. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Well, oh, oh, we can get the grappling. Okay. Hold on. Duh. That might actually change everything. Maybe we should take. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, maybe we should take the prawn suit. Wow, I, that kind of goes against everything I was just saying. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, I know I want to take the, the sea moth, but having the grappling hook like makes me feel more comfortable. I don't know, I'm still torn. Uh, well, let's make the the grappling arm. So we need an advanced wiring kit. Ugh, I hate making these electric things because they have, like, more pieces to them. So I need... Gosh. Okay, hold on. Let me get all this stuff together real quick. Okay. So I got everything that we need for that grappling arm. So we'll go ahead and make that. And that takes up one of our benzene. All right. Then we can go ahead. Oh, I didn't want to enter it. Oh, you son of a biscuit. Okay, hold on. I meant to access the upgrades, but I goofed. And I guess I still could have put the arm on, but whatever. Can I actually access the upgrades from it from here? Wow. Okay, whatever. I'm sure I can, but I'm just impatient to figure it out oh but i can't even oh my gosh this is embarrassing i think i have to do it from the one vehicle station that's over here all right let's see base no what the fuck i know i can do it from the from the whatever from the cyclops this is this is silly. Can I just check the upgrades? Ugh. Okay. What in the world? Do I have to actually like deploy it and then do it when it's down there? I mean that's fine, whatever. Okay, now, there we go. Wow, that was a trip and a half. Okay. But I want this to be... Yeah, I want this to be the right arm. Yes. So let's see what that thing is like. Oh my god, that kind of goes a little far. Huh. There we go. Okay, and then we could just kind of hang there. Whoa. That's kind of scary. <laughs> uh, grapple onto the base. Swing over. If we had, like, two grappling arms, like, that would be crazy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, that might actually be really fun, even though we're going into, like, a really deep stressful area okay so who knows maybe we, we will just take this thing oh gosh but i've got to empty its inventory i mean the sea moth i love the sea moth don't get me wrong but it's like i don't know if we need to drill something we're not going to be able to i don't know i don't know what the better thing to take in this situation is. I'm so torn. Uh. Alright, well, what other upgrades can we get for that? Because, like, 
if we need to go below 900, we'll have that and we will we'll be good to go. Okay, hold on. I have more of these mushrooms than I know what to do with. Um, gosh, I don't have like an overflow thing. You know what? We have more than enough of these gel sacks. We'll just eat those up real quick. There we go. Um, nom nom nom. Apparently those things keep indefinitely. All right, your night and lithium. We'll put those away. Um, actually, we might need those if we're gonna make more upgrades, but whatever. Okay, um, so I guess if we wanted to upgrade the prawn suit more, we could do like a storage upgrade or two and maybe, uh, but, but we need nickel ore for that. Oh, you know what? No, no. Okay. So here's why I was thinking below 900 because I thought we could make this, but we can't because we need nickel ore. So that kind of voids that. Okay, okay. So we're definitely taking the Seamoth. 100%. Confirmed. Okay, good. Now, I think I'm still going to leave the beacons here. Uh, or maybe not. But, okay, we'll only take one of these with us. Keep all the waters. Keep the scanner tool. And the rest of these things, I think, can stay here. Um, there. There. That's fine. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. We'll go ahead and take the Seamoth back over to that area. And then we're going to take that down with us to explore. And hopefully... None of the resources that we need to collect, like the nickel and the kyanite and all that stuff. Hopefully none of that, like you actually need the the whatever for. Like you need the drill to get. I don't think that's the case, but I could be wrong. And I hope I'm not. Okay. And if we have the whatever with us, like the... The Cyclops storage won't really be much of a problem. Because we can just make trips back up here to like drop things off. So that's fine. We just have to remember to not to honk the damn horn. And then also to keep the, the engine off to like conserve power. Because I think that's a problem. Like we're already at 47 power, 47%. It's kind of like the sucky thing here. All right. But yeah, I'm excited. Like, we're going deep. We're going to go as deep as we can go or until I find a lot of the resources we need or we run into, like, another Leviathan. That's not a Reaper Leviathan because Reaper Leviathans don't seem to be as dangerous as they once were or like they're avoidable enough i'm sure they're still dangerous but i can avoid them relatively easily so oh, those damn floaters they get on the ship and then they make it ascend more than you want it to okay so hopefully we can find kyanite and that other like the sulfate stuff here is if we can, that would be fantastic. Um, because then we could make a bunch of other stuff. Like ideally, we get the upgrades for the the Cyclops, because that's kind of what I want soon. Yeah. Okay, I think we're getting pretty close, and then we'll disembark from there I don't know what this oh I guess that's how deep I am yeah it is okay because we can only go 
500 meters right now, which is nothing for this thing. Like, just in general for the game, I guess. Okay. So. Oh, gosh. I must have hit a rock. Okay. All right. Engines off. Okay. And then we'll turn everything off here in the ship. And nothing will even know we're here. Hopefully. Um, okay. Let me actually double check something and then we will head out. Oh, gosh. Okay. So I th I've looked at everything I needed to and I think... We're ready to start our exploration. Oh my goodness. I I don't think I'm ready for what we might find down here. Um because I I know just from what I looked up and I, I did my best to avoid spoilery things, but I wanted to be semi prepared. But in this particular biome we can find like an entrance to a really important biome. Like we need to go deep. Like we have to be really, really, really deep. But just from where we were even like in the prawn suit, like we were pretty close to this particular area. Okay, where's that trench? Yeah, here it is. So yeah, it's it's a little spooky. And I don't exactly know how I feel about it, but it's going to be fine, I think. I hope. Yeah. I guess, yeah, so we can move through this area so, so, so much quicker. And I guess if we had any consolation, it's that we didn't run into any, like, hostile creatures down here. Any hostile fauna. And we were, like, already pretty deep. So that makes me feel somewhat comfortable, but I know, like, we were barely scratching the surface of this area. Okay, so we're looking for nickel and kyanite, which I don't think we can get until we go deeper and then something sulfate. If we find any of those things, we're really successful there but there's still more we want to get um so i built this defense system and i was testing it out just around the the base Ooh, there was some more lightning still storming let me tell you but anyway yeah and it i was testing out the the defense field and it like destroys your battery Ooh, that thunder though gosh yeah so we have to be careful about using the defense system. We have to use it very, very, very um, loosely. Okay. Oh, gosh. I don't know what that thing is. So far, we've been pretty much able to avoid those. So we've seen a few of them. And we've just, like, stayed above where they were. Um... I'm a little afraid that we may have to kind of avoid our passive stance, like abandon our passive stance with those. Ooh. I... I say we should try to go... Okay, did I just hit a wall? I think I just hit a wall. Okay. Yeah, I think we should try to go to that biome. Um, there might be some goodies there. Oh, okay. Uh, what? How is there water within the water? That doesn't seem very good. I'm going to try to avoid that if I can. Okay. Are there any of those things around? 
No, I haven't seen any more of those blue guys. That's a good thing. <laughs> they can stay well away from me. Oh, I have a sonar. Wow, I should be using that. Okay. Um, shit, I have to remember my way out of here. All right. We just need to head southwest from this area near the, the brine waterfall. Or whatever the hell this is. I know it's Brian. I, I saw that when I was looking up this area. Shouldn't try to hide it. But. Oh. It's the jelly guy. Okay. Yeah, we want to. Keep well away from that if we can. Okay. Yeah, we should try to keep use of that thing to a minimum too, the sonar, because I'm sure that'll drain our battery pretty pretty well. Oh gosh, stay away. Okay. Alright, he was attacking us. And it made me fucking jump out of my skin. There's like wreckage over there and I don't know if that's anything useful or not. So, I mean, we're really, really, really deep. So, I would imagine there's got to be good stuff here. Alright, well, let's hop out and see. Yeah, please. Oh, I'm lagging. Oh, yeah, stay away, please. Nuclear reactor? Yeah, I guess we don't already have that. Oh, but there's like... Okay. Please stay away. I'm just a harmless little human. Okay. I don't know what exactly that reactor is going to do for us, but could be good. Okay. Damn electric eels. Alright. That's more nuclear reactor. Yeah, I don't know what that, that brine that's there. I don't trust that. I don't want to get close to it. Okay. We are deep and it's making me a little uncomfortable. Because I don't know what's around here exactly. There's apparently a cave that gets us to the bone area with fossils and I don't know where it is. No, I don't know where it is. Okay, we've got one extra power cell, so that might be... That might be enough to get us through there. I'm worried about power consumption. To a lesser extent, I'm worried about water, but we got gel sacks down here, thankfully. You know what, let's actually... Oh, gosh. Something didn't exactly sound friendly. Nope, nope, nope. It did a screech, and I did not like it. Fuck that. I think it was that blue thing that we saw when we came down here. Okay. All I wanted was a tasty gel sec. All right. Okay. Oh, gosh. What? What do you mean swim to the surface? Oh, it's the cr octopus. Okay. Oh, there's a bunch of those around. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, I wasn't paying attention and I got grabbed. Okay. Oh, God, yeah. Just stay over there. I'm going to turn my thing off. Get out. I'm going to do a repair. Okay. Yes, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Everything's okay. Oh. Oh. Whoops. I just shocked a fish. All right. Um. God, I don't like where I'm at. Uh, I want to go home. But I know this is not good for progress. 
Oh, gosh. Uh, those things make a terrifying sound. Uh, that might be another just... <gasps> oh, what just happened? What? I don't know what just happened, but I don't like it. I'm fucking terrified. I don't like it. We already have that. Okay. Oh my god, please. Leave me be. Seamoth. <laughs> okay. Let's come back down here. Oh my god. I think I've lost my direction at this point. Shit, and I only brought one of those healing kits. I should have brought all of them, but I was... Unsure. Okay. If we find the brine waterfall, we find our way out, so... That's something to keep in mind. I think that's it right here. Okay. I feel relatively safe in this vicinity, because we know our way out. Oh, and it's not as dark over here. Okay, let's take a second to breathe. My god, that thing was like zapping us into the nether realm. Alright. Let's just keep moving. I keep like hanging around the same area. That's not doing me any good. Oh god, there's so many of those octopi. I just want them to leave me alone. I just want to get through here with in, in relative peace. gosh oh my gosh like I'm not here to harm them I don't know why they can't just see that okay oh my lord oh that's a fossil oh oh we got a radio okay that's new a broadcast Huh. Don't know what that means exactly for us. Alright. So to get back out, we need to go like up from this giant rib cage. Okay. Alright. Still. Wait, what is that? Hold on. Oh, nickel ore. Okay. That's a good thing. Yes. Even if we just get nickel, like, we'll take it. We will take it. And we'll be satisfied. Just uh, buy a giant thing of silver. Okay. Oh, my lord. I'll just do a gentle swim around here and hopefully not see anything okay it's a gel sack have ourselves some water all right oh my goodness my skin is crawling out of my off of my bones i don't know Gosh, every time my game freezes, I don't know why it does that, but it's it doesn't make me feel any better. Oh, Lord, have mercy on my soul. Okay. Just some quartz. We don't need that basic ass quartz. We need we need that good good nickel. Oh, we've at least found some. That's a good sign. Okay, oh, more. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Things okay. Things seem to be okay. There's no more giant octopi around us. Oh! Gotta watch that oxygen. I'm not immune to that. Okay. Yes. And any time, I should turn 
lights off. Any time I'm not in the CMOTH is is positive because it's extending the battery life on that, I think. Okay. As long as we stay in this area where there's not much going on, I am at some peace. Not a lot, but enough to be able to calm myself down. Okay. So no more nickel at the moment. A little disappointing. Okay. We've got plenty of fish around, so if we need to get ourselves some food in our tummy, we'll have some things to eat. Oh my god, my hands are sweaty. <laughs> oh, I'm not lying about being anxious, I tell you that. Okay, titanium. What a basic resource at this point. I mean, I know it's important. It's like at this point, we're getting fucking nickel, which you can only get like at this depth. Why would we want that petty whatever? Pyrocoral? I don't know what that is. Uh, I could read about it, but I'm lazy at the moment. My foot fell asleep. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm anxious. My foot's asleep. It's like I'm dying. All right. Let's get back over to the sea moth real quick. Okay. The worst... Uh, I don't even want to say the worst thing that could happen. Like... I think I would just want to be calm and be chill and if things happen, they happen. And we'll handle whatever situations arise. But things are going to be okay. Yes, they are. Just do some deep breathing and everything will be just fine. Oh, probably should get that silver. So, so far, no kyanite or anything, which is disappointing. Okay. No more nickel. How much do we have so far? We've got three nickel. Um, I don't know how, how much we'll need, but I guess whatever we can get is, is good. Okay. Oh my gosh, that skeleton is huge. Duh. I don't even want to imagine what, what died there. Because I could imagine it. I mean, it's it's obviously huge. Okay. Get a little bit deeper into this area. Okay. Ooh, there's something floating around there. Ooh, I don't know what that is. But I want it to stay far away from me. Okay. Um, not seeing any more nickel at the moment. That's a little disappointing. Ew, that thing's just floating around that skeleton. Even if I wanted to like go over there and get deeper into it, that thing's over there having a fucking field day. All right. Just sonar. Oh, God. Did not mean to do that. Okay. Let's see. Oh, this place is massive. Okay. Ooh. That looks really dangerous. Okay, we're just going to creep along slowly here. Because I don't know. I don't know if that thing will be alerted to me if I get too close. I mean, imagine it would be. Alright. We're kind of approaching the depth limit of this thing, but. Okay. Alright. Just gonna sneak past you here. 
Just a kind, calm Midwestern just sneaking past you. Oop. Oop. Okay. Yeah, you just stay over there inside of your bones. Where'd he go? Oh, shoot, I lost him. Oh, gosh. As long as he's not coming for me, that's all that matters. You can just stay wherever he went. It's fine by me. Okay. Ew. There's all kinds of shit. All these weird plant life. It's like what I imagine we could find at the bottom of our oceans if we looked. If we were able to look. Just see all kinds of crazy shit. Be like a massive nope. Oof. That would be like torture for me if someone was like, oh, hey, we're going to put you in a submarine and you're going down to the depths. And you're going to die there because we're not bringing you out. So, ooh, what is that? Oh, it's sulfur. Yes, 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 yes. That's good. Even though it's close to this this briny goop. Okay, well, we've got one of those. Yes. Someone sound the the victory bell. We've gotten one thing. Okay. Well, at least we know we can get it down here, so maybe we can get some more. Okay. Take it slow. Uh, maybe pick up a gel sack. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. Well, this place does go even deeper. Um, okay. I'm hoping that's the only long boy that we see down here. That would be good. Don't want to run into any more long boys that'll gulp us up in one gulp. Okay. Okay. What the fuck? I don't know what that was. Something was saying my prime directive. Oh. Here I was getting comfortable and then fucking crazy shit has to happen with my computer. Oh, maybe I'm just hallucinating. <laughs> uh, one can hope, right? Uh, okay. Was it this thing that was doing it? This jelly? Hmm. Okay. Sorry if I'm not talking much. I'm just it is your primary directive to swim closer to satisfactory form. What? Is it that thing trying to lure me? That's bizarre. That is very bizarre and I don't like it. That's that gets a massive nope from me. Okay. All right. Any more long boys? No, please. Fuck, I hate when I discharge that on accident. Like, all that's going to do is get something to attack me. Because I've preemptively attacked it. Like, <laughs> that's, so st that's such a stupid mistake to make on my part. But of course it's a mistake I would make too. Uh... All right, I'm just going to approach this area for a second. Okay, I don't see that thing that was over there, which makes me fucking terrified. 
because I don't know where it went. But you know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna keep on going as deep as we can. Cause why not? Why not? It's got some pokey bones. Nice and pringly. Nice and prickly, I guess. Not pringly. It's not a Pringles can. Okay. Here we go. Going deeper. Everything's fine. Everything's okay. It's all fine. Who? This place is massive. Oh, there's noises. There's something here. Hello? Oh my god. I don't like it. I don't like it. Hello? Okay. Just gonna... Just gonna come over here. That thing looks like... That thing kind of looked like a ghost leviathan. I know that's not what that is. I think. Oh. Just trying to be able to see if there's any resources here I can easily get to. Oh. I'm about to hit my capacity, which not really that good, because I'm gonna have to bring the the prawn suit out here. Okay. Oh, I'm below the mushroom forest. That's that's neat. You know, it's good. Just below. Everywhere I've been to. Which alien structure appears to have collapsed to the sea floor? What? I don't see a structure. What is that? What are you talking about? You, you computer? I don't see a damn thing. What are you talking about? Ew, that looks like the edge of the map. Nope. Gonna back right the fuck off from that. Nope. Made that mistake once and it cost me dearly. Okay. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. So much nope. I don't see the structure it was talking about, though. Hmm. Okay, well, that's back here. That's good. Okay. Is that actually the edge? There's just nothing. No, that seems like a barrier. But then it's talking about, like, some kind of structure? I don't know. Ugh. I don't know what to do, guys. <laughs> oh, Is it above? I suppose it could be above, but... Oh my gosh. Actually, there is something down there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nope. Nope. I don't like it. I don't like it. Back up. Back the fuck up. Nope. You know what that seems like? That seems like a trick. 
And I'll die if I go down there. And that's not what I want to do. I think I need the, the prawn suit. Because that's like my limit anyways. Like with this thing. Okay. So. <laughs> I'm going to be a smart person. And just go ahead and. Oh, let's make a noise. It's that thing. I'm going to turn back a little bit. I want to find more sulfate. Sulfur? Sulf? Something? Um, but I don't know how much luck I'll really have with that. So there's like literally nothing over here. Oh gosh, this whole area wraps around. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. What if we just peruse over here for just a second, but not get too crazy? Um, do you still have beacons on me? I do. All right. Here is what I'm going to do, because I think this is going to be important for later. Oh, wait, what's OK? Hold on. Let's just do something real quick. Let's come up here. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. That's so fucking vast. I don't like it. Let's just see what's above here. Oh. Oh, it's nothing. Okay. Uh. Nope. Nope. We're just going to come back down here. Pretend like that was nothing. Okay. I'm going to put a beacon down here. That way I know where this is. So when I'm trying to go back through the caves and everything. Okay. So we'll drop this beacon. And we'll call it. Uh. End Valley uh, We'll put deep There we go Structure Struck Struck There we go Alright So maybe that Will be Telling or something <laughs> Okay, yeah. Struck? <laughs> maybe there's something there, maybe not. I think that warrants future research so that I don't go down to there and then I just die. Spontaneously. Okay. So, before I leave this area, though, and get back to my ship, can I actually go into this? Does this do anything? Oh gosh, okay. Can I dive into this? Oh no, it's it's eroding away my ship. Okay. Never mind. That answers that question. Okay. So we will avoid that completely. Man, I really want more of that sulfate. So we've only managed to get one of those. If we got one or two of those more, I think that would let us make like some really good upgrade. But alas. Alas, alas, alas. Ow. Okay. Um, I think I had like three nickel. So I think that's going to let us get at least like one upgrade. You know what? Let's actually see. Um, let's see. What did I unlock? I unlocked something. Okay. Reactor rod. Oh. Okay. Good to have. We also got that reactor. As it was. Yeah. Uses nuclear rods to generate energy so i don't know if that's just like an energy source that just always gives i don't know 
But, okay, what was I looking at? Yeah, I was looking at upgrades. So for Seamoth, we're totally good with that. Um, okay. Hello? Oh, Cyclops upgrades, okay. Well, we still need that module. Like, we haven't found that yet, so that's not helpful at all. But for the suit, we need three crystalline sulfur, and we need two nickel ore just for that. For the prawn suit, one, we need three nickel, which we have, so we can make that, and we can go below 900. Um, okay. that it? I think that's it. Okay. All right, so then if we got, like, three nickel, no, if we could get five nickel and two more crystalline, which we need, we would need two more nickel. Let me double check. Um, oh, we've got two of those. That's even better. So I thought we just had one, and we got four nickel. Unless I have a surprise one here, which I don't. Okay. All right. So yeah, we have um, four nickel, two crystalline, and what did I say we needed? Um, we need three crystalline in... Hello? Oh my god. Okay, three crystalline, five nickel. So if we could find one more nickel, one more crystalline we would be good. We would have those upgrades just there. Okay. Gosh, gotta watch out for that long boy that's over here, though. So I think that's very much so well worth pursuing. Uh, so I think we can look around for that, but I just have to be careful because there was that thing swimming around over there and kind of like lost view of it at some point oh lord okay maybe we can explore this side because we weren't really hugging this wall we were staying to the other side I think Yes. I hope I'm right. Lest we get really lost in this area. Um, okay, hold on. Just wanted to see what was in that little cave. Just more cave. Okay, that's helpful. Yeah, our stuff is starting to get low. Like our battery, but we still have plenty. I, I believe. Why is it so dark over here all of a sudden? Okay. Uh, I don't see the long boy. That's not good. No, I swear to God. Letting that thing go off at the wrong moment is going to be the, the death of me. Like, literally the death of me. And I can't have that happen. Because that would be really, really, really stupid. Okay. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's get back out of there. Okay. We found some of that crystalline around here, but I haven't seen any more. Fortunately, I don't know if there's like a spawn rate for it. Like that would be really cool if it respawned within like a certain time, you know. 
Ooh, wait, did I come over here? Did I come over here? I remember this long boy. Huh. Ew, was that you? Sorry. Didn't mean to get too close. God, there's like nothing over here resource-wise. Yeah, I'm leaving. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna sneak on out of here. Pretend like I was not here before. Okay. Alright, just give me one more crystalline, please. One more crystalline, and then I will be out of here. For good. Heh heh heh. Never gonna come back. Until I have to come back. What about a nickel? I think nickel might be easier to find. Okay, so I've been running around for a little bit, and <laughs> I think what's going on is my game has glitched, because there should be stuff out there, and I think that's the way we came back in. So that one area that I was like, wow, this looks weird, it's like a drop-off. Yeah, I think the game is just glitched, and I'm trying to save the game, but I can't. Uh, and I think that's why the long boy that was there was is gone. And now this part of the map is gone. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, well. I don't know what that means. I would, and I'm trying to save the game, but that's not working. Which is kind of annoying, because I think that means I'm going to have to, like, restart the game but i haven't saved in a while so this is this is good i might try a console command to get out of here but we'll see and i'm about to die of hunger so here's what i'm gonna do because this is this is bad always around i'm gonna try to warp myself out of here using a console command and if that doesn't work and i i know and i have to crash the game i'll just redo everything and it'll be more efficient since I know what I'm doing and I'll like meet you guys back with hopefully more of the resources and I'll show what the things should actually look like when I get to it because I think there should be a lab down here but yeah but for now this means the end of the video unfortunately and we'll go from there so thank you guys so much for watching this was an exciting video regardless and uh, I can't wait to get back into it and see what actually happens when we come down to this area. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Calorie intake immediately.